Hi, this is Artifax Mars. This is a demo video for a new project that I'm doing working on micro job sites. I'm going to be creating custom made videos for people and we're going to go through some things. Here's how a bird flies well. This is a crow. There are a lot of steep tall buildings. Sometimes lag on second life and make it really difficult to navigate. But you get the idea. I'll give you a bird's eye view of what it's like to fly over a city or what it's like to fly over a forest or even inside a building as we'll see. This is a, uh, a very corvid on Second Life. I have many different birds to choose from. Owls, corvid, even dodos. Even have a dodo bird. And yes, it flies, although rather awkwardly. The, um, uh, big thing is to buy these videos for enjoyment. These aren't intended to be scientifically accurate. I'm not trying to demonstrate flight or anything like that. What we're going to do is you can stitch on your own music or you can have me do it. Uh, only public domain music from YouTube. So what I'll do is I'll download public domain music from YouTube and I'll stitch it right onto your video 30 minutes in length. And then send the video right to you on the micro job sites. What could be nicer? And it won't cost you only a buck. Alright, uh, this little fella is not exactly a bird. This is a fantasy critter that the scientists say existed a long time ago in Archaeopteryx. Flying over dinosaur land. Um, you can be a dinosaur too. I broke up my T Rex. Unfortunately, that tends to crash second life on me, so I can't do T Rex, but I do have a bunch of different Lost Raptor and Ankylosaurus, a whole slew of different prehistoric creatures to choose from. I just saw it in the Archaeopteryx, it was kind of neat, so I included them. It's flying over an ancient world. And we're soon going to go to the next video and we'll see what we have here. See, there are infinite possibilities here. Sign of Life is humongous, and I can do just about anything you want. I don't do porn or nudity. Other than that, I'm pretty much uh, wide open as far as what I can do. I love horror stuff. Basically, when I'm doing this, this is stuff that I love doing. These are called Daleks. One of them is... Uh, Imperial Dalek, the other one is a renegade Dalek, and they're fighting it out. When they put them together on the same sim, they uh, fight until one of them blows up. You just saw the one blow up, right? That was a renegade da Dalek that blew up. The yellow one is the Imperial Dalek, whatever the difference is. I'm not a big Doctor Who fan. Well, I have watched them before. Alright, here the Daleks are again, fighting it out. Get a better view of it. This is a build that I'm working on for a friend, a wedding build. Chipping away at it in between other projects. Alright, this is, uh, 
a macaw, if I remember right. This is the uh, Amazon River Sim. They didn't allow flying there, unfortunately, so... Basically, the macaw is just walking along the bank. Kind of a colorful place, I liked it. I don't know why they don't allow flying. I actually can make it fly if I want to. I can sit... And if I didn't want to just make it fly, one of the things you can do is you can sit there and tap on the key with this particular av avatar. As with most of the bird avatars, and it'll sit there and take off and fly around. Alright, now we're going to move underneath the ocean. Um, bull shark. This is a bull shark. Move along underneath the ocean. Have them do a few tricks for you. This is, on Second Life, this is called the Blake Sea. It's a cooperation between Linden Labs and um, various boating, sailing organizations. Huge, huge place. It's a beautiful place to take a swim. I have a whole ton of different avatars that I can use there. Fish, sharks, whales, sea turtles, no sea snakes unfortunately. Snakes are kind of tough on Second Life because just the way it works, um, that undulating shape doesn't work quite as well as some things would, but we do have snake avatars. More, they're more or less fantasy snakes, but they're fun too. I don't mind being a snake. I don't mind being an insect. I have insects. Yeah, you know, sharks just sitting on the bottom hovering. Here he goes. He's taking it off. Here with me. These critters don't actually attack anybody unless you have it set up so they will. Basically, you do the attacking with a button. Alright, uh. That's not a shark, that's. a whale. I forget which one. Oh, yeah, I know which one it is. It's an orca. This is an orca whale. For some odd reason, they named them, they put the names backwards, and that's what's having me confused. Instead of calling them an orca, they call them an acro. I'm trying to figure that out. He is flying. Uh, the only way to get him near the surface and keep him there is to have him fly, and if you go forward, they'll actually take off out of the surface of the water. There he is, trying to breach for you, roll over maybe a little bit. And whales that do, after all, have to breathe water, air, so they're not water breathers, they're air breathers. That's the kind of thing we can do. Of course, I have boats. I can go skimming along the surface of the Blake Sea. Almost anything you want. I uh, have a World War One German uh, Fokker type plane and one or two other planes. All right, this is a moa moa, or in other words, an ocean sunfish. It's this very thin, tall. Fish, I haven't looked this one up really to see whether they're for real or not. I'm assuming it is a real fish. Kind of an awkward looking thing, but also kind of cute. You can zip along, you know, pretend you're mushing on a school of smaller fish. And they have no idea what they eat. I know freshwater sunfish will 
first take a warm running day of the week. There he is zooming along. I also have turtles, sea turtles, ammonites, nautilus, just a whole host of different sea critters. At least two different crabs. I have a hermit crab. I can be. Uh, I have horseshoe crab, which is actually a type of arachnid from what I understand. Alright, we're going to go to the next video and we'll showcase the next thing. I don't remember what it is, but just be patient. Alright, over Blake Sea again. This is a UFO. Oh, it's flying saucer. It was not being terribly cooperative, but this is another thing I can do. Make a flying saucer video. Uh, my avatar is a little alien gray. Um, if you're not up on um, UFOs and all that stuff, the grays are the ones that are supposed to be one of the ones that are supposed to be here on the planet. I'll give you a look at them. Top goes down on that. There he is with his little ray gun. And that's a working ray gun, by the way. I've actually used that in combat against zombies, believe it or not. Until I got yelled at. And I had to switch to a different weapon. They didn't like the particle effects. This ship can zoom along. Once you get it going, it's a pretty nice ship to zoom along. Um, the Blake Sea. Like I said, Blake Sea is this big, huge deal on Second Life. Many different sims. There's some, a few combat areas. Most of them is just normal stuff, though. I've flown biplane over this. I've flown uh, Klingon Bird of Prey over it. You're going to see that here shortly. And I have a yacht that I, I don't remember where I got it from. It wasn't quite finished, so I dropped the uh, textures onto it and fixed it up. I can sail along that if you just want to play a Christopher Cross song like Sailing. And you like to see, you know, a beautiful girl riding on the boat or whatever you want, I can do it. Blake Sea is just a beautiful place. It's one of my favorite areas. There he is again. And he's going to touch. You got to watch this. That's actually supposed to turn red, but it's an alien abduction beam. He touches that little cone-shaped thing on the dashboard, and it shoots down this beam, and it's supposed to abduct somebody up. I've actually shown this before in my uh, video. Uh, uh, the Architects of Mars, that was it. The ship was uh, featured in The Architects of Mars. It's on YouTube. It's well over two hours long. It's quite an extensive video. There's plenty of stuff in the Mars photos. This is just making money on side because I am in pretty bad shape. Alright. Uh, this is my Klingon ship. One of two Klingon ships. I'm a big Star Trek fan. Highly maneuverable. Once again, flying over Blake Sea. As I'm in Klingon outfit. No, I don't speak Klingon. I don't have time to learn that or any other language. I have to stick with English, I guess. There he is, flying over Blake Sea, having a ball. If Klingons can have a ball. 
this ship can actually shoot photon torpedoes when they don't do anything. This is a cruise variation of uh, the ship. You just use it basically for cruising, right? It's not an attack variation. Alright, there he is, flying over White Sea. Another example of just, you know, the beautiful scenery you can get. And when you fly over it. And this is the type of video I'll make. Minus all the crap on the screen. I'll get that off. This is just a demo video to show you what it can do. I'll get the stuff off the screen. There's another view of the Bird of Prey. I just love that ship. I don't have time to fly it very often. It gives you an idea of the types of videos I can do. And it's not all inclusive by any means. Now time for a little gawk. Uh, gawk, for the uninitiated, you'll see it. Live serpent worms. Sort of chilled. That's about it. Hope you uh, buy one of my custom made videos. I'm Artifacts of Mars. Have a good day.